Hello and welcome to Pointless Show, the show that is a complete waste of both my time and yours. Well, the moment that pretty much everyone predicted has arrived. I'm pushing back the deadlines for the last three episodes of Man Whore Industries. So I made the first four. Yes, thank you. But the last three will be more like... There you go. It's a great motivator to have a monthly release schedule, but it is now obvious I'd have to cut some major corners to get the last three done on time. This is mostly because I kept writing new scenes after I'd committed to the schedule. Plus, this should give me the time to do other stuff, like the amazing show you're watching right now, and also collaborative writing projects like Fernando and the Orb of Gaia, where people wrote the story one panel at a time and I drew the art. I depleted my pens, but I suppose they exist to be used. Plus, they smell nice. Like, really nice. Hell, that's why I got into drawing in the first place. I've started another collab. Here's the first panel. Fernando carefully slipped the key off the rusty nail. He felt a powerful surge of victory. The pleasure mobile was as good as his. If you want to help write this beautiful story, a link is in the about section below. My mandibles are sweating! That must mean it's time to check in with our sketch artist, Hot Sexy Bitch 502. Hello! What have you got for us today? <laughs> it's an elephant eating a cake and pissing on another cake. Very nice. By the way, Hot Sexy Bitch 502 has decided she'd prefer to be known as Von Bomb and has started her own channel where she plays weird games with toys and wears fabulous hats if that's your thing. Also, there's spine chilling special effects. Is that a prominent enough plug for you? No! Do continue! No, this has gone far enough. Joining me on the uncomfortable couch today is Pickle! Well met, Pickle. Hi! I seem to recall agreeing to interview you. Did I say why? I'm going to tell you an amazing story. I was on holiday when the uh, doctor called me into his office to let me know that I had just become a doctor as well. Uh, a female one. Uh, no surgery required, I just needed to carry around a little card saying that I was a female doctor. Uh, I'd be uh, specializing in the uh, gonads. Uh, in which everyone has and loves, and uh, I was very, uh... This is boring. I'm going to cut here. One of the very few things I do other Hey, did you cut my story? Quiet, Pickle. You did, didn't you? Shut up, Pickle. I'm working here. One of the very few things I do other So, am I just supposed to sit here quietly until the show ends? God damn it, Pickle. Shut the hell up. Okay, jeez. One of the very few things I do other than animate and stage photographs with goats is play double bass with a band called Fettler, and together we sometimes make wondrous folk reggae roots music at bars and restaurants. Recently, they released a new EP on Bandcamp. You can listen to it for free or even download it for three Australian pesos. I don't actually play on it. They recorded it before I started with them, but it's very good even if I'm not on it. The lineup has recently changed, so this will be Fettler's one and only release, so the title is quite appropriate. We're thinking of calling ourselves Sexual Lobster and the Side Dishes, but we're a little worried we won't get any gigs. Last episode, I people to fan art email asked me send address to, or something along those lines. Well, I didn't get any. Haha! -ha! No, not really. I got some really great stuff. Here we go. This masterpiece was painted by Armpit Core 420. The walrus is very good. I'd also like to draw attention to Fernando's proud pink nipples. Please don't flag this video. This painting captures man's eternal struggle with nature. There is nothing sexual about it. Nothing at all. This is from Wayson Lay, and it continues the theme of ancient naked Fernando. This to me looks kind of like Fernando in a few years time when he's gone to fat a little. I like the skin texture and how gleaming he is. Here we have Fernando out for his morning run, while Gooseman watches impassively from a nearby couch. Squiggly red lines of what I assume is erotic energy emanate from Fernando's groin, entrancing a nearby cobra. This was sent in by John Yuma. This one is from Anal Cum Slut 69, and it depicts Fernando heroically spearing Vera the Dominatrix from behind. I'd like to draw attention to these rather creepy tabs. And also this search term here. I am sorry to disappoint you, Anal Cum Slut 69, but no search engine will give you what you crave. This is from James Orth, and it's an interesting fusion of art and a photo, which is of James and his girlfriend. 
This one is called Fernando and Two Friends, and it's by Himmy Kimmy. Some nice diversity of goats on offer here. This one is also from James Orth. I like the color palette here. I wonder why Fernando is crying. I guess we'll never know. We're back to naked ancient Fernando. This was painted by Kolbaseek. I hope I said that right. I love everything about this, particularly Fernando's proud posture and imperious expression. Here's Fernando as Poseidon locked in battle with a gigantic octopus. This was painted by Christoph Stoll. Here's Fernando wearing his Katy Perry wig. This haunting portrait was sent in by Grace Silva. Thank you, Grace. Alexi Guadalupe sent this in. I think Fernando is saying, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? This one's by Apophius, and I like his costume. I think it's a fusion of Fernando and one of those shows where all the characters play cards. Hey hey, here's Osama Bin Goose by Jonathan Baraz. This one is by Jaffers. Thank you, Jaffers. Or Jaffers. Jaffers. This one's from Bob Neeson. And Fernando and Gooseman are lost in the desert. They don't seem happy about it, but at least they have appropriate footwear. These are from Shopey Star, and they were made for a 3DS game called Tomodachi Life. This one is from Norbenry, and it's Gooseman in deer form, giving it his all. Finally, this picture is a special threat. Oh, there's no H there, a special treat. It was made for the 2013 Newgrounds calendar by Oscar, who has given me fresh permission to show it here. Ever since I got the calendar, it's been July in my office. Here's some cosplay pics to finish this off. This is Giacomo and his hair is fantastic. Okay, so I'm aiming for December 1st and 15 for the next two man whore episodes. Fernando and Gooseman will return to Pleasure Island and battle a powerful man whore for supremacy. Okay, thanks, bye!